So welcome everybody to the webinar tonight. Uh, my name is Mike Wood, uh, your presenter, and we are going to be talking today about uh, specifically working with uh, a template on eBay and uh, other options to help avoid negative feedback. And uh, so that's something that I want to to kind of detail and, and show you. I thought it would be uh, valuable. Um, first, why don't we go in and I'll show you a little bit with my feedback and why um, I felt this was important. Uh, I've been on eBay for a very long time, uh, many years with this account actually. Uh, it was uh, it lied dormant for a while uh, there, but uh, um, uh, lately I've, I've done a whole bunch with it. So you can see in the past 12 months I've increased my feedback by over a thousand. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, in that time, I also got four neutrals and one negative. And uh, I did have uh, uh, negatives before that, prior to that as well. Uh, and uh, so I, I've worked hard. Of course, I don't want the negatives. Uh, I want to see stuff like this. Perfect. Terrific seller. Those are fun little feedback uh, <laughs> items, aren't they? That's what I want to see is all that great, 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 stuff you know that's what we want to get and we want to encourage that in every way we can well when i uh, had some negatives there and some neutrals uh, i decided to put some things into to practice and over the last uh, year or so i have been uh, uh, doing a lot more with this and so that's kind of what i want to show you is how to make that uh, effective we may not uh, go into a lot with with actual ebay listings today because we're going to be focusing on uh, items that are outside of eBay. So first is the template that uh, um, that I use to encourage uh, positive things uh, from the start. Uh, this is a, a template that I put in all of my listings. Um, I might have it in uh, one of these. We could pull it up and take a look at it, but I, I'm going to show you where I do that. If you don't have a Gmail account, I would recommend getting a, an account with Gmail, uh, gmail.com. And when you do that, you're creating a login for all of Google's tools. So you have a, a login that will work for anything Google. And those apps are under this box right over here at the top right. And you've got all access to all of these. So if you create a Gmail account, you now have a Google Plus or the ability to create a Google Plus account, uh, a, a YouTube account within that, uh, Google Play, all these uh, different things you can do. One of the things that you have is access to Google Drive. And I have my drive open already here. In Google Drive, you can create folders to store things. You can create uh, documents and spreadsheets and uh, save them uh, over here. And I have one titled eBay Details. So this is just like a Word document, except it doesn't cost you anything, and it's saved online, so you don't have to, to worry about losing it if your computer crashes. Um, and you can access it. From anywhere. Uh, lots of benefits to, to doing stuff like this and I really like it. So this is where I start with avoiding negative feedback. The, the first thing that I want to do is present myself uh, in the most uh, favorable light. I want to uh, um, present uh, um, the fact that I'm willing to do whatever I, I need to, to to keep people happy, um, that I, I hope that they're happy and stuff like that. So I create this uh, template in my Google Docs. Every listing that I make on eBay gets the same template. And so all of this information is uh, is stored there. You can go back and, and look and see if I have that in here yet. It's not uh, in there. So what I would do is highlight everything here, copy it, and paste it in here. And so then every one of my listings looks the same. I've got a, a title area there where I would just come up uh, in here and I'll just highlight that title and, and copy it and then paste it down in here and it will follow that uh, same formatting. But uh, in that uh, documentation, I, I come in and uh, there, are, there are two things that I do here to combat negative feedback. Number one is I tell them how 
important they are to me, how much I, I care about their satisfaction, and that I guarantee them 100% satisfaction. I will take care of them. So that's one thing that I do. Number two, I'm going to state any defects of the product. So I have my item condition section here. So if I detail any defects that there are on the product, any slight scratches, anything, so that it's very, very clear, then that way I have recourse with eBay. If they do leave me a negative feedback, let's say I say this has three scratches on it, see the images so that you can see where those are. And then later they leave me feedback and say, uh, um, I was unhappy, the item had scratches on it. Well, I can actually go to eBay now and say, hey, they left me feedback for something that I had disclosed. I want it removed. And eBay will remove that negative feedback because I disclosed it to, uh, in there, that, that item that they were complaining about. Okay. So uh, I've got a question over here uh, about Google Drive that I'm going to answer real quick, and then we'll jump back into this. Do you find that Google Drive is better for storing items than in your computer documents folder? Absolutely, um, Bracky. That that's I think it's uh, far better than than storing it uh, um, just on a computer folder. Um, mainly for the the things I mentioned before. One of the the most valuable things I think is the fact that you can access it from anywhere, from any other computer. You just log into your Gmail account and you can get into your drive. That's one of the biggest uh, benefits. But uh, another big one is, gosh, if you're if your house burns down, heaven forbid, and you lose your computer, you've lost all those files. If they're saved on Google Drive, you haven't lost them. Uh, if your computer is stolen, you haven't lost them. If the computer breaks down and the hard drive just goes on the fritz and you can't access anything, you haven't lost it. It's all on, on Google Drive. So uh, there's enough reasons uh, that I think it's a good uh, idea to do that. Now, you know, if, it, if it's too sensitive information, I probably wouldn't put it in there, but I don't have to worry about storing anything like that uh, really uh, on there. So, you know, I don't, it's not a big deal. So we disclose everything about the item so that we're, we're not worried about that. Um, and then uh, this is a, an important thing I think that needs to be in our listings. We first clearly state, and notice I've got this in bold, in red, it's centered, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. And then I explain this policy to them. If you have a problem with your item, contact me and I will do whatever is needed to make you happy. So I'm clearly outlining and stating to them that whatever happens, if, if they have a, a concern or a problem, I'll make it right. I'll do whatever I need to, right? Um, and then I tell them, please contact me directly if there's a problem. I will fix it. Uh, I actually ask them, do not open a case or leave negative or neutral feedback. If your transaction is not a five-star transaction, please let me fix it. I'm human, right? And so I'm appealing to the human side of, uh, of my buyers by doing this, basically. So I, I outline all of that right there to say, hey, you know, work work with me. I'll work with you. I will do whatever I need to to make you happy. Putting that in there, and I bold all of that just so it kind of stands out, um, gives them that understanding that I am willing to work with them. I am willing to make them happy. And so hopefully they will contact me instead of going through eBay to do a case or something like that. For a while there, eBay had uh, uh, in their system, I think they've changed this, but uh, when they made some adjustments, they their system was set up so that if a, if a buyer had a concern or a question, it automatically opened a case against you for them to try and contact you, and that put a negative mark on your account. Well, that was rather annoying. It was it was incredibly difficult to to keep up and and uh, you know keep yourself in good standing when their system defaulted to opening account just be, opening a case just because somebody wanted to to ask you a question or or had some concerns to address. So that's why I put that in there to please contact me directly. And I'll talk about another uh, item that I do to, to help with that as well. Um, the rest of these terms just outline my uh, my terms. This is one I just put in recently. In fact, just today or, or yesterday, I think I put this in there because I've had a lot of people make offers on items. I accept the offer and then they don't pay for it. And that is extremely frustrating because it takes the item off of the market for me where my item isn't out there to be bought by somebody legitimate who's going to pay, well, I wait for the case to be closed for you know to for eBay to give these guys a chance to to pull their head out and see if they're going to make payment. 
uh, which every once in a while they do, but most of the time, if they don't make payment on a, an offer that was accepted within the first day, they're not going to make payment, and I don't get it. Uh, and so it was frustrating. So I put a little section in here about best offer. If you make a best offer, be prepared to pay for the item. If best offers are accepted, they are as binding as any purchase. You will be expected to pay immediately after the offer is accepted. Please keep this in mind. Uh, that uh, Keep in mind that an accepted offer removes the item from the selling block. Uh, if you are not serious about purchasing the item, do not make an offer on it. And so I just put some notes in there, and I, I might be a little more brusque than I need to be there. <laughs> I might change that later on, but uh, um, I'll wait till I cool down before I decide what to write there. And then I've got all my other terms there, shipping, payment, um, returns. I outline, this is my return policy. If we send the wrong thing, then we'll return it, and it's our fault. But if we send you the right thing, hey, it's as is. You know, you bought what you expected to buy, no returns. Okay, so that's my return policy. So do I have a re uh, returns accepted on every item? Yes, I do. Every single item says returns accepted. That does not mean that if they change their mind, they can just return it as though I'm Walmart or something. Uh, I'm not playing that way. This outlines what my terms are. So again, very clearly stating my terms up front. Um, if they leave negative feedback based on something that's outlined in here, Again, I can fight it with eBay and get it removed. So those are some of the things that I do on a front-end template uh, process to help avoid negative feedback. All right, so let's say I sell the item. What's next? Uh, you know, what's another thing I can do? Well, if you are uh, selling an item that you own, you have a little bit uh, of extra control. One more thing that I can do is I print this off and uh, send it to them. And uh, basically, uh, this is just a, an item that states, uh, thank you for your order. We hope that you're very happy with your item. Um, if not, please contact us. Uh, basically, what I've got in my terms uh, on, on the other side uh, there. Um, and then uh, another one that I do is uh, if I have a payment to, um, come in, you know, let's say they, uh, I, I have a payment received from uh, PayPal, um, then I'll reply to that payment, and I have some canned text that I put in there. I've saved this. You can create canned responses in uh, your Gmail account. And so I have those saved. Uh, if you're not using Gmail, which again, I highly recommend that you do, but if you're not, you could always save this in a notepad or, you know, document somewhere else. Um, to copy and paste. But I just have it saved here so I can go in and say, click on that one, thank you for your order. And they get everybody who pays me gets this. Thank you very much for your order. We hope you will be 100% satisfied with your item. There I am again talking about 100% satisfaction, right? If you're not for any reason, please let me know right away and I'll do whatever I have to to make sure you are perfectly satisfied. Right? I mean, doesn't that scream satisfaction, customer service? And that's what we want, okay? Send me an email or call me, and I give my email and my phone number in this uh, uh, email that I'm sending. And then I state this, again, appealing to their human uh, side and to their charity. eBay is an important source of income for my family, and so it is extremely important for me to make sure you are happy. I am human and I make mistakes. I'm trying to improve every day and I'm getting better, but listing so many things, I still mess up now and then. If you find one of these mistakes, please inform me and I will make sure to take care of you. Please do not open a case or leave negative feedback on eBay as this will make it difficult for me to feed my family and really, um, and I really like to be able to take care of my family. So, here again, I'm explaining, hey, this is a big part of our income. Uh, it hurts if you leave negative feedback. Work with me. I'll take care of you, right? And then, uh, again, a final reminder. Remember, if you have any concerns at all, contact me. Uh, I'm, I'm a really nice guy, and I like to make everyone happy, and I will do whatever I need to to guarantee um, you're happy with your order. And then I've got both of my uh, eBay usernames there. Uh, listed so it goes uh, 
no matter what. Okay. Um, and so I send that out to everybody who places an order with me through eBay. Okay. So there's the second thing I do. So again, let's run through this. Number one, it's in my template on eBay. Every eBay listing has my notes in here, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. If you have a problem, contact me. I'll fix it. Right? I clearly outline any uh, defects in the items so that uh, if needed, uh, uh, I have that as a uh, support for me. And then uh, if I'm shipping out the item myself, I'll put that little sticker or, or item, not sticker, but a little piece of paper in there. And so those are things I do on the front end. Okay, if we can avoid problems to begin with, that's the best thing. That's that's the best way to go. Um, if I have somebody who's upset, then I work with them. I, I do all I can to uh, to communicate with them and and uh, uh, you know fix the problem. If it's something I did wrong, then I will you know I'll make it right. Um, if it's an error that they have, then uh, you know if they want to to return an item because they made a mistake, then I'll tell them. You know, I'm happy to return it, but I have shipping costs that are, are not going to be reimbursed to me. So I'm, I'm not going to refund the shipping that it cost me to, to send it to you. And you'll be responsible to pay to send it back to me in order to get the refund. Uh, that's perfectly fair. You know, that's legit. There's nothing wrong with that. And they should expect that. And so that's something that uh, that I do when I am... Uh, uh, when I'm dealing with the those... Uh, refund situations if they do come up. Now, if I have somebody who uh, um, who is just irate and they're not going to take it and they, they just want a complete refund and, and they're just mad and angry and they're a bad person, all right? If, if it's something like that, then honestly, uh, if it's a uh, an item where, you know, it's, it's, it's not a huge deal, uh, uh, if it's under, I don't know, maybe a hundred, couple hundred bucks, Oftentimes, I will bend to their demands and uh, uh, apologize profusely and and go ahead and, and refund them, uh, even though they're wrong, because uh, that positive feedback is really important to me, and so I want to do whatever I can uh, to avoid a negative, okay? And so that's something that uh, that I will work with. Most of the time, I am not going to bend, though. I've, I've outlined my policies. They can go back and read my policies. If I've done nothing wrong, uh, usually I'm okay with it, and they'll they'll agree, and it and it works out okay. But uh, uh, the other thing I do is if I do make a mistake in all my communication on eBay. Um, and uh, any email communications uh, with any of the, the communications I have with them, I am going to just drip with apology. I'm going to say, I'm so sorry that this happened. I, I'm so sorry that this thing was destroyed in shipping and that the shipper didn't take good care of it like they should have. Uh, I am so, you know, I feel so bad that this happened. I hate it when, when these things occur. Please forgive me. And that's important to put that out there. Ask for forgiveness. Whether you did anything wrong or not, please forgive me for this. I'm so sorry. I'll do whatever I can to make it right. Uh, I I put that in there um, sometimes two or three times in a message. Please forgive me. Uh, you know, I didn't uh, mean for this to happen. I mean no harm to you. Uh, I'm so sorry that this occurred. And uh, if they communicate with you, then you have that opportunity to to put that out there. Um, and that's only they're only going to communicate with you if you if they think that you're going to be you know, a good person to work with. So that's why it's important to put that up front, that 100% satisfaction is guaranteed. If you have a problem, communicate with us, we'll make it right. Then when they do communicate with you, oh gosh, I'm so sorry that this happened. You know, let's see what we can do to make it uh, right. Please forgive me, right? So I've found that that has dramatically um, reduced the number of negatives and uh, and neutrals that I get and uh, allows me to... Um, to end up with uh, much more positive feedback and to get the the uh, uh, flying colors that I do, you know, the five star feedback that happens so often now. Okay, so um, I uh, I've got a note here from Bracky uh, saying that uh, he ordered uh, professionally printed thank you postcards, uh, eight and a half by five. Uh, that's a, seems like a big. Uh, card there, uh, which he will insert into every shipping box. And that's that's great. If you want to do something like that, that's fine too. 
Uh, you could order business cards that say thank you for your order on them. I've seen that from a lot of uh, people I've bought from on eBay, and uh, that's fine too. And realistically, it's it's a low cost to deal with if you're going to run a, a legitimate business. If you want your business to be big and, and really uh, be a business for you, then these costs are not uh, uh, astronomical, and these steps are very important uh, to put in place. Okay. So those are some of the things that uh, that I do. I hope that uh, that helps you uh, understand how to uh, to combat negative, to avoid negative feedback. Um, a lot of it comes on the front end, just letting them know that hey, you're human, and you're willing to do whatever is needed to make sure they get 100% satisfaction. And that's a, a big one. And then on the other side, uh, do it, follow through. Make sure that you are actually doing whatever uh, is needed um, to fix the problem if uh, if it was an issue on your side uh, and to make them happy. Okay, so uh, that uh, that's the the details that I had for you. Uh, if anybody has questions, uh, please uh, you know put them in there. I'm, I'm happy to answer any more questions that you might have. Uh, of course, related to this topic. And uh, if we don't uh, see any more questions, we'll go ahead and uh, and complete this webinar here.